What is up guys, Jav here, back today jumping into Destiny 2. Now in today's video we're taking a look at pulse rifles and specifically the ones that you want to be taking into Beyond Light. So if you're in the process of clearing out your vault, be sure to stick around and check out this video. Now if you enjoy the video, be sure to leave a rating down below, that super helps me out here on the channel. And if you're new here, I want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, be sure to hit subscribe as well. But without further delay guys, let's jump into the video. So over the last few weeks, we've been working our way through each archetype of weapon inside Destiny 2. We've done hand cannons, shotguns, sniper rifles, and auto rifles. And today we are covering pulse rifles. These are in an interesting place inside Destiny 2, and they'll be some of the go-to weapons when we reach Beyond Light. Now it's important to remember this is a legendary list. There are some amazing exotic pulse rifles inside the game, but these are not being sunset in any way. The aim with this list is to make sure that you have the ones that you need that are legendary, so you don't miss out on any that are being sunset for the end of the season but with that being said let's jump into our first pulse rifle in this video and this is the sacred provenance now this is a legendary kinetic pulse rifle this one is an aggressive burst frame though so it's hard hitting and hits a four round burst now if you don't have this one you can obtain it through the garden of salvation raid we actually covered this in a recent video around thermal scopes and this is partly why it makes the list today now a lot of the weapons from the garden of salvation raid have the innate ability to be able to highlight their targets and as a result make it much easier to locate your enemies when you have poor visibility whether this be darkness or when we land on europa a potential blizzard now, if you're looking for the absolute god roll on the sacred provenance it has some pretty incredible perks available to it. it has high caliber rounds and ricochet rounds both of those increase your range except ricochet rounds will also improve your stability by plus 10. in terms of its main perks though it has some pretty good options especially in the middle column you have a choice between outlaw where precision kills greatly decrease your reload time but also rapid hit where rapid precision hits will temporarily increase your stability and also your reload speed and in the final column if you're looking for an out and out damage increase in perk the only real option on the sacred provenance is kill clip where reloading after a kill grants you increased damage so that's the god roll but why is this one that you should be seeking out especially ahead of beyond light well if we look back to when last wish first launched a lot of the aggressive frame pulse rifles were very popular especially in their riven encounter they allow you to deal high damage from a safe distance but also have some great perks that help reduce the downtime and also keep you in the fight for longer the sacred provenance is no different it has those key reloading perks that allow you to get back into the action as quickly as possible but it also has kill clip which rewards that reload with increased damage against your targets now the sacred provenance is a raid weapon as we said you obtain it through the garden of salvation raid so as a result this one has a power cap currently of 1360 and will last you all the way up until season 15 at the end of year four so that gets us out of the gates in regards to pulse rifles now the next one on the list today is the last Perdition. This is a legendary energy pulse rifle. This one, though, is an adaptive frame, so it has a well rounded grip, it's very reliable and sturdy. Now, this one is a world drop, so you can get it from pretty much most sources, whether that be engrams over at Master Rahul or Crucible tokens over at Lord Chax. Now, adaptive pulse rifles haven't been in the best place, especially inside Destiny 2 as of late. Adaptive frames themselves have one of the lowest time to kills for pulse rifles inside the Crucible, but with that being said, there is possibility for some sandbox changes ahead of next season which could see these get a bit of limelight in season 12. But with that being said though, there are still some amazing perks on these weapons that are well worth chasing down. So if some sandbox changes do happen, you have a god roll in your hands ready to go. Now before we get into the absolute god roll on this weapon, you want to be keeping an eye out for the SPO 57 front scope. This one is a high threat evaluation scope with a medium zoom and it actually highlights enemy targets as well. So much like the sacred provenance, you have the ability here to highlight targets in poor visibility. So even if you can get a mediocre roll, it may still be worth holding on to if you can get this scope as well. Now this weapon has a plethora of magazine options. Tactical mag is there, which will not only boost your magazine size, but also improve your stability and reload speed without any penalties across the board. If you're looking for the absolute god roll though, in Crucible, then Accurized Rounds, which will provide a plus 10 to your range, is where you'll be heading. In terms of the middle column, there are some interesting perks. Outlaw is there once again, where precision kills greatly decrease your reload time. But you also have a choice here between Range Finder and Moving Target, and those are very top tier perks, especially for the Crucible. And in the final column, you have some interesting options too. You have kill clip like the sacred provenance where reloading after a kill will grant you increased damage but if you're looking for a good pve gun rampage is a possible legendary trait here and this is where kills with this weapon will temporarily grant you increased damage and stack up to three times so if you can get rampage 
and say Outlaw, you have a gun that has a very low downtime, but also has the ability to stack up increased damage. Now the last petition was reissued this season, so as a result, like the Sacred Providence has a power cap of 1360, so we'll ask you the entirety of year 4 all the way up until season 15. Now sticking with adaptive frame pulse rifles, we move on to the JN7 rifle. This is a legendary energy pulse rifle as well. Again, an adaptive frame, but this one also is a world drop. So once again, you can get it through either engrams from Master Rahul, tokens over at Lord Chax, or even gunsmith materials over at Banshee in the tower. Now this weapon is very similar to the last edition. It looks very similar in terms of its weapon frame, but it has some different perks available to it, which is partly why it makes this list. Now much like the last edition, it also can roll with the same scope, the SPO 57 scope. So be sure to keep an eye out for that one, as this will help highlight targets and improve the weapon's performance in low visibility. Now this interestingly enough, will have the option to roll ricochet rounds, which improves its range and stability, as well as high caliber rounds, which provide a flat plus five to your range. Now in the middle column it has some pretty interesting options here. It can roll Disruption Break which is a very underrated perk for PvE. This is where breaking the enemy shield with the weapon makes them more vulnerable to kinetic damage for a brief period. But it also can roll things like Grave Robber and Full Auto Trigger System. And this is where holding down a trigger will fire the weapon in Full Auto. Now in the final column we have some great perks too. We have Rampage once again. But also Outlaw is a potential option here. But a unique option on this Pulse Rifle is Swashbuckler. And this is where the weapon gains increased damage from melee kills. And kills with this weapon which stack up to 5 times. And that is a great option for this weapon. Alongside Dragonfly which also is a potential role here. And this is simply where precision kills create a elemental damage explosion making it great for ag clearance. Now this weapon was issued back in season 10 so it has a power cap of 1310 so it will sunset in season 14 lasting you up until the penultimate season of year 4. Now moving on to our penultimate weapon in our video today and this is the Infinite Paths 8. Some of you may remember this pulse rifle but this is a legendary energy pulse rifle. This one though is a lightweight frame so it has superb handling and you also move faster when you have the weapon equipped. Now it's not currently possible to get your hands on this weapon this season so you'll need to dig into your vaults to see if you held on to one back in season 9 and this is when the weapon was introduced so as a result has a power cap of 1260 so it will last you for season 12 only and sunsets in season 13 but with that being said it has some pretty incredible perks that I believe are still worth checking your vault for to see if you've got one ready for beyond light. Now this weapon overall has some pretty amazing perks for PvE especially. In the middle column the standout choice here is Demolitionist where kills with this weapon generate grenade energy and activating your grenade ability reloads the weapon from reserves as well. And in the final column we've got some interesting choices too. Swashbuckler is there once again but you have the choice of either Zen Moment if you want improved stability which is very useful if you're on console but the great perk here is Dragonfly where precision kills create an elemental damage explosion. If you pair that with Demolitionist you'll get many kills and you'll notice that your grenade energy will return to you very quickly indeed and that is a very powerful thing to have especially inside PvE. Now out of all the pulse rifles in the video today this is probably the rarest only 37% of guardians actually have this weapon so dig into those vaults to see if you held on to one from Season of Dawn. And the final pulse rifle for our video today and one which is very obtainable is the Cold Denial. This is a legendary kinetic pulse rifle it's our first high impact frame of this video and it's a slow firing high damage weapon so the weapon is more accurate when you are stationary and you're aiming down sights. If you haven't managed to get hold of one of these where have you been? You can get them from pretty much any Humble Engram but more importantly you can focus your Humble Engrams over at the Prismatic Recaster in the tower so if you haven't got a god roll at least you can focus your RNG to try and get your hands on one. Now high impact pulse rifles are in a very good place especially after some of the sandbox changes ahead of this season so the cold denial is in a very strong place across the board especially in Crucible 2 and there are some pretty incredible and new perks available only unique currently at least for this weapon. Now whenever ricochet rounds is on the table that is the top tier option and that is no different with this weapon too and this will improve your range by plus five and your stability by plus ten and there are a few unique perks as i said on this weapon killing wind being one of them and that's a new legendary trait for the middle column and this is where final blows grant you increased mobility weapon range and handling for a short duration and that is very powerful especially inside crucible and it's also very useful inside pve but the top tier one for me personally is feeding frenzy and this is where rapid kills with this weapon will progressively increase your reload speed for a short time and anything that can help reduce your downtime on a weapon is a good perk in my eyes 
Now, once again, the final column has some new unique perks. It has Unrelenting, where rapidly defeating targets triggers health regeneration. Guardians and powerful combatants count as more than one target. Now, for me personally, that's a bit of a hit and miss perk. I don't see it proc all that often, so it's not the number one choice for me. But let me know in the comment section your thoughts on that perk down below. But the standout ones, at least on the Cold Denial, is most definitely Swashbuckler, or multi kill clip. As we know, Swashbuckler is where the weapon gains increased damage from melee kills and kills with this weapon, which stack up to five times. But multi kill clip is where reloading grants you increased damage based on the number of rapid kills made beforehand. And that's a perfect partner for something like Feeding Frenzy. Now, this weapon was introduced in season 11 this season so has a power cap of 1360 so like many of the weapons in the video today will last you the entirety of year 4 all the way up until season 15. So there we have it those are the top 5 legendary pulse rifles that I believe you should be taking into Beyond Light and if you have any god rolls on these weapons be sure to let me know what they are down in the comment section below. Now if you have enjoyed the video be sure to leave a rating down below that super helps me out here on the channel and if you're new here I want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to jump back into the game as always guys but I will catch you all again very soon.